Hello friends, today we will learn about why rainwater is acidic. You are playing here in the garden. See, there is slight thunder and lightning. It has started to rain. You should go home now. You are making yourself tomato basil soup. Everybody loves it, especially when it rains. Look outside, it's still raining. Have you ever wondered why rainwater is acidic? Is rainwater safe to drink? Don't get confused. Let me explain all about this today. When it rains, the water naturally absorbs carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere. It mixes and dissolves in water to form carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. This process gives normal rainwater a slightly acidic pH of around 5.6. Look at this pH scale. The pH scale is a numerical scale ranging from 0 to 14 that calculates the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. Look closely. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. Values below 7 are acidic and values above 7 are alkaline or basic. Here is rainwater and these are some pH paper strips. Dip the pH paper into the collected rain. As soon as the color changes on the strip, compare it to the chart. The pH written next to that color is the pH of the collected rainwater. It clearly shows that rainwater is acidic. Sometimes when pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides released into the atmosphere react with water, oxygen, and other chemicals, acid rain occurs. Acid rain can be extremely harmful to the environment. You are collecting the rainwater in a drum. See, it appears clean, but you should not drink it, buddy. Let's see why rainwater is not safe to drink. Airborne contaminants. When falling, rainwater can collect pollutants from the air, such as smoke, dust, industrial emissions, and other particles. Roof debris. Contamination from roofs like leaves, twigs, bird droppings, and other materials can accumulate into the rainwater. Chemical contamination. The material of the roof itself might contribute to the dirtiness of the rainwater. Some roofing materials like lead, copper, zinc, and wood shakes may release pollutants that contaminate the water. Forever chemicals. Rainwater can contain PFAS or forever chemicals which are linked to various health risks, including thyroid issues, liver problems, and more. Lack of essential minerals. Rainwater forms from condensed water vapor in the air and doesn't naturally go through soil or calcium and mineral rich rocks. People collect and use rainwater for various purposes. Rainwater harvesting is the process used to conserve rainwater by collecting, storing, conveying, and purifying rainwater for later use. You can use rainwater for other purposes, like landscaping and washing. Using rainwater is the best option to care for your green friends. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!